What's going on, my little piglets? It's your BFF Port Shop here, and I'm coming at you with another installment of Ask Port Shop. Now, if you want to leave me questions, you can leave them down below. You can leave it on my Facebook, Vine, Twitter, or Snapchat, and we can keep this party going all year long. So before I get started answering your questions, I am going to put insight on a question that I've been asked most, which is, have I seen the iDubs uh, Content Cop Amateur Food Reviewers video? What do I think about it? Have I seen 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 it? Did you know that you're the thumbnail? You're the thumbnail. Just all these questions. Yes, I've seen it. When I first got insight about it was a piglet sent me a link on Christmas Eve. So yeah, on Christmas Eve, he was like, hey, check this out. And then I saw I was the thumbnail. I was like, oh, here we go. This guy is just going to be a prick. He's going to be a dick. And he's just going to talk crap on the field that I love to work in, which is food reviews. Don't judge a book by its cover. I actually watched the video from start to finish and I thought it was hilarious. I thought it was amazing. Satire. It's satire, people. Even in the description it says satirical. Since then, I think iDubs has sent me like 30 subscribers. So thanks iDubs for making me the thumbnail and putting me in it for like that long, like that short. Now that that's out of the way, let's go to the questions. GGMar127, hopefully I'm saying that right, asks, are you a fan of The Walking Dead? I have actually never watched a single episode of The Walking Dead, but I can tell you how the show goes because I have friends on Facebook that decide to spoil every single episode. I did think about watching it like when it was like in its third or fourth season because it's all on Netflix. So I was like, oh, maybe I can just start. Lonnie Zone wants to know, Colin, do you have any plans to do food challenges? I enjoy your food reviews, so I think you would have an interesting insight on this matter. Thanks. No, thank you, Lonnie. Yes, I have thought about doing food challenges before. I've done one, and it's just the Meat Mountain from Arby's. So if you guys want to check that out, I have like an annotation somewhere if you guys want to give that a gander. Scott Rennie, Rennie, again, if I say your names wrong, I apologize. How old are you? 23. Mary M, what television shows are you currently watching and which ones have you watched in the past that are over now? Crap, I gotta go look through my DVR now because I have no idea what I'm watching. <laughs> I'm gonna check my DVR real quick and I will get back with you. I'm watching Better Call Saul, Bates Motel, Supergirl, Gotham. Girl Meets World and Pretty Little Liars currently at the moment. Uh, all those shows are awesome. I do love the stories with uh, Bates Motel and Gotham. I love Pretty Little Liars. That's the show I've been watching since the beginning. Better Call Saul is a great spinoff of Breaking Bad. And Girl Meets World is just a continuation of Boy Meets World, which is a show that I watched when I was a kid. So I'm watching those shows. I think they're all great. I recommend it if you guys would like to watch them. What TV shows have I watched in the past that are over now? I had a streak for a while where I would watch a show and it would get canceled after one or two seasons and then it would make me so sad. For example, No Ordinary Family was a TV show that was out my senior year of high school that I've watched every single Tuesday. No Ordinary Family is this TV show about this family that gets superpowers and the season one ending had a cliffhanger for season two. I'm like, all right, let's see how they can top it next season. And then like a few days later, they announced that uh, ABC canceled it after one season. I was like, of course they did. Why would they? continue the show. I mean, it wasn't a good show. It didn't have a good story. It didn't have Julie Benz as the mom. It didn't have a Panabaker sister as the daughter. It didn't have the thing as the dad. You know, let's just cancel it. It has no star power. And it even had the villain was the dad from Seventh Heaven, which turned out to be a villain in real life, but I'm not going to touch on that. So another show was Body of Proof with uh, Dana Delaney. That show got canceled and it just, oh gosh. I love that show. Each season in danger of getting canceled, but it would get renewed because they had a high fan base, I believe. They had a pretty popular fan base. After a while, ABC's like, now nah, we gotta cancel it because we gotta have another reality TV show that nobody's gonna watch, and we gotta have another singing competition that will get canceled after a season. So, buddy of proof, you go out the door, and uh, we're not giving the rights up. So, I think, I believe that TNT was gonna have the rights to body of proof, weren't allowed to acquire the rights because ABC's like, nope, nope nobody can renew the show because we're just going to cancel it straight up. And I'm just going to have a moment of silence for those shows because I was so into them and they got canceled way too soon. So just give me a moment, please. Berkshire Bacon Lover says, Since my channel is all bacon all the time, I have to ask you, what is your favorite type of bacon? Best fast food bacon you've ever tried. Thanks, Sir Bacon. Sir Bacon, this is Sir Chop here, and I want to thank you in return. My favorite kind of bacon, I love Applewood smoked bacon. I think Applewood smoked bacon is phenomenal, and I actually like bacon with uh, cinnamon, brown sugar cinnamon on it. Uh, I like a crispy, sweet, crispy, 
crunchy bacon. So that is a bacon I like. Uh, best fast food bacon I've ever had would probably belong to Wendy's. Wendy's did a bang up job with their bacon and I think everybody should try Wendy's bacon. Dim Vids is mine wants to know what car do you drive and how do you clean it after all the food reviews? I drive an O2 Pontiac Grand Am and uh, how do I clean the car out after all the food reviews? I usually just take a shop vac to it and if the car which I have deemed the Phantom Stranger after the Rob Zombie song if it smells like food too much I will shop vac it out and I will put in a scent of the little trees either one of two I will do the cherry scent or I will do the black ice scent which my friend Andrew and I call French Horror that's what it smells like and the the Glade clip the vent clips I have done the new car smell and midnight rain which I believe are both the best ones out there so I recommend those four scents if you guys want to give them a shot Millie Hayes wants to know if you could eat one fast food restaurant only for the rest of your life which restaurant would you choose I would say due to the the depth of the menu. I'll probably have to say Burger King because Burger King has great burgers, they have great chicken nuggets, they have great fries, onion rings, their shakes are amazing, their pies are amazing. Everything at Burger King is great, so I would probably have to pick Burger King for the rest of my life. I was going to say Taco Bell, but I realized, oh wait, Taco Bell pretty much has the same thing over and over and over again. Uh, just different taco shell or different nachos or whatever but it's pretty much after a while I'd probably get tired of it at Burger King I can have a salad one day and a cheeseburger the next day and I wouldn't get bored with it probably so thanks for the question Dominique Miller wants to know what is your job where do you go to college what are your favorite video games and who is going to win the Super Bowl uh, my job I am a delivery driver for Jimmy John's I've been there for over a year and it's a pretty good job me and the Phantom Stranger are just tearing up the roads giving people sandwiches one person at a time which I believe that not all superheroes wear capes and most of them are just delivery drivers so there we go I do that where do you go to college I am currently attending my second semester at West Texas A&M University in Canyon Texas and I will hopefully be graduating December of next year and I will be getting my bachelor's degree in mass communication so what are your favorite video games uh, I love Rock Band I love Pokemon I love Madden those are the three games I play the most and who's gonna win the Super Bowl well like I said in the pick of my heart said the Broncos but everything else said the Panthers so I should have followed my heart because the Broncos won so that's it last question and if I didn't answer your question it will probably be in another part so the last question is from Noonish Plays I don't know who those people are. They, they act like they know me, but I don't know them at all. I'm just kidding. You guys are awesome. All three of y'all are amazing. Y'all do great work. I really enjoy y'all's content. Since we're on the subject, what is your favorite Die Hard movie? I can't get enough of the first one. I will watch it every single day and not get bored with it. I love the action. I love the comedy. I love the acting. I love the setting. It's a great movie overall, and I actually sat and studied it one time, and I just realized this might be one of the best movies ever made so good job my girlfriend I showed it to her for the first time a couple months ago one of her favorite actors was uh, Alan Rickman which rest in peace Alan Rickman you were a man amongst boys in the acting community played the villain Hans Gruber she even said it was amazing and of course Bruce Willis Come out to the coast, we'll get together, have a few laughs. It's a great movie and I can't get enough of it and that is why the first one is amazing. The last one, ugh, I sat there the whole time in my theater seat going. Because <laughs> it was just, this isn't Die Hard, this isn't John McClane, this is Bruce Willis collecting a paycheck and dashing. So guys, thank you all so much for your questions. Again, if you would like to leave me more questions, let me know down below. Let me know on Facebook, Vine, Twitter, or Snapchat. All those links are down in the description. You can hit that subscribe button right there to stay in touch with my videos and become a piglet. And always remember my little piglets calling Pork Chop. Loves y'all the most. So y'all take it easy, guys. And I will see y'all next time. Once again, thank you for 2,000 piglets and all your badass questions.